Is okay. the government looking at it from the wrong end? So we're basically providing customers to private institutions. The government is saying, Obamacare is a great example. We're not giving people health care. We're giving people a voucher that they can give to Aetna or Blue Cross Blue Shield or somebody else, and they will get their health insurance through this private company, but we don't control costs. You know, you talked about health care. Historically, the federal government has not been able to negotiate the price of prescription drugs. Right. We now have that ability. Right. And but see, so that seems insane. Well, it may seem insane, but you're working in an institution That's that, insane. that, you know, you have two political parties, you have different philosophies. Mm -hmm. Look, I was here on that bill when we dealt with the negotiation of Part D of Medicare. Right. When we were up all night. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there were, between the House and the Senate, 536, uh, 35 members. They prohibited us from being able to negotiate price. But we vote on these things. Right. And that is critical. You have to have the votes to pass right. this. So when you're negotiating that bill, how many lobbyists were there? Oh, 600 or more. 600. Mm -hmm. And how many of those lobbyists were taxpayers saying, wait, why are, why are you privatizing something and it's going to spiral the cost of my things? In other words, is this system that we've set up give no access. Well, We're the ones access. footing the bill. There is access. I'm going to point to you on okay. access because this is what your recent advocacy, right? your recent work, veterans, etc. You know, it took, it, it, it took a while and you had, there was a, they, they set back there, but you advocated for something to happen that makes a difference in people's lives and saving their lives. And that happened. So that happened if, not if, because you didn't if I, I, if I may yeah so for 10 years those yeah. folks knocked on doors here yeah and got nowhere I hear you and the threat of cameras it, it can't be that for the American taxpayer to get some foothold on policy they've got to find a celebrity spokesperson yeah, no, that, it, that comes in are we not recognizing how broken and corrupt a system is that when you're negotiating Medicare Part D, which for the most part affects people above the age of, what, 65? Mm -hmm. Who are going for the things. Mm -hmm. And none of them are here, but 600 lobbyists, the majority of whom are from yeah. insurance companies and big yeah, pharma. But, is but that a system? That's, I'm, not, I'm not disputing yeah, because look, yeah. I really am not. The process is maddening. It can be frustrating. But like you, you don't give up. Like others that don't give up, right. I don't give up. You just keep at but it, the point and we're making strides. Are we making incremental strides, and are there foundational changes that we need to start thinking about? There is a paradigm shift. Right.